Hey guys, AJ here, and today I'm gonna let you know how you can build your own home recording studio for under $250. Now, this is assuming that you already have a computer. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is a microphone, and not just any microphone, but a condenser microphone. There's another type of microphone out there known as a dynamic microphone, but you don't want that one. Those are used mainly for live performances. Condenser microphones are best for in-studio recording. Now, in order to connect your condenser microphone to your computer, you're gonna need an audio interface but you can save yourself some money by just buying a USB condenser microphone which already has an audio interface built in so you can connect it directly to your computer for a USB condenser microphone I recommend the Samson CL1U Pro it costs $80 and has a built-in headphone jack so you can connect your headphones in and listen to yourself while you record along with a microphone you're gonna need a mic stand and a pop filter what a pop filter does is it filters out the popping sounds that occur when you say words that start with B and P directly into your microphone. It doesn't really matter what brand you buy for either of these. A mic stand is going to cost you about $20, a pop filter is going to cost you about $10. But if you're really desperate to save some money, you can build your own out of a wire hanger, and a do-rag or some pantyhose. The next thing you're gonna need is a set of studio headphones for monitoring yourself while you record and for mixing. For studio headphones, I recommend the Samson SRA50s, which cost around $35. I've had these headphones for about three years now. They sound good, they're sturdy. I've dropped them a whole bunch of times and they still work perfectly. Next, you're gonna need some studio monitors, AKA speakers for mixing. Now you might be thinking, why do I need studio monitors for mixing when I already have headphones? The thing is headphones are good for mixing where you need to hear every detail in the track and make precise edits. But when it comes to the overall level of things like making sure your vocals aren't too loud or too low in the mix, that can best be determined on studio monitors. A studio monitor is going to cost you about $100. The ones I recommend are the Mackie CR3, the M Audio AV32, and the Samson Media One BT3. Next thing you're going to need is a DAW. DAW stands for Digital Audio Workstation, and it's basically the software that you use to record and edit your vocals. There are two DAWs that I recommend. They are Audacity and Reaper. I personally prefer Reaper a lot more, and here's why. Audacity has this thing it does called destructive editing, meaning that any effect you add to a track affects the actual sound file for that track. For example, let's say you were to add an effect like delay to your vocals. A delay is basically an echo. Then you saved your project and closed it, and later on you came back to your project, listened to it, and decided you didn't like the way the delay sounded on your vocals. You wouldn't be able to take it off because the actual sound file has been modified. One way you could get around this is to make duplicates of the tracks you want to make changes to. So that way you still have the originals if you later on decide you don't like the way the effects you added to a track sound. With Reaper, you don't have to worry about any of this. You can add, remove, or even modify effects added to a track at any time. Audacity is completely free and Reaper is free for the first 60 days with full functionality. After that, you only have to pay $60 to continue using it. Like seriously, if you saved a dollar a day throughout the whole trial period, by the end of it, you have enough to buy Reaper. And $60 is a steal just because of how great a DAW Reaper is. I use it for both recording vocals and for music production. All right, that's it. That's everything you need to build your own home recording studio for under $250. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'll post the links to all the items I mentioned in the description below. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you're a rapper looking for beats, make sure to check out my website, talkingdrummer.com. My name is AJ. Thank you for watching. And until next time, peace.